Hello Internet, Sanders here and uh, today, today I wanted to show you all of my Mega Man 11 games. Oh yes, it's gonna be one of those because, well, as you can see, I have plenty of versions of Mega Man 11. Uh, yes, I'm a collector, so I collect all the different versions of the same game. Let's start with the PlayStation 4, shall we? Um, over here on the top left, we have um, Mega Man 11 for... Um, this is the American version. You can you can know right away because of the rating that they use. Uh, different regions use different, uh, different uh, little rating systems. So the American version uses the ESRB system. And uh, yeah, Mega Man is back. Yes, he is. Uh, and this, uh, the Peggy system is used in Europe. And you can also tell at least on the PlayStation versions because of the region. Interestingly enough, uh, where's the region here? Yeah, this is Euro Europe is region two. And um, uh, this is region three. So that's gonna be China. Yes, that's China, even though he's called Mega Man for some reason. And China doesn't seem to have a rating system for some reason. And region, uh, where are you, region? It's gotta be region 4. And uh, that's uh, Australia, actually. <laughs> uh, so I also have the Japanese version. I'll get back to that in a moment. So these are the ones that I have in uh, their regular-ish version. Well, you can see that the Chinese version has like limited premium something something uh, um, stuff but really this is just what you get and uh, for the Xbox I only have actually this tree um, interestingly again <laughs> uh, well let's start with the American and then the uh, yeah the Australia sorry the European and then Australian interestingly there is no way to get a uh, physical Japanese copy of Mega Man 11 for the Xbox One. The rumors on the internet are that uh, the Xbox One has been selling so poorly on Japan that the Capcom just didn't bother. I honestly don't believe those rumors because for one thing, I have this special edition. You can see like it's a little bit bigger than other ones. Um, this special edition is, even though it looks like this is for PlayStation 4, because if you match the colors, you can see that, well, it's more or less the same blue-ish color that PlayStation uses. Uh, this is actually for Xbox One. This is an exclusive, a special collector's something uh, pack, Pix in Love game series. Uh, it was sold exclusively in uh, Europe. Uh, there's supposed to be another version of this for PlayStation 4, but unfortunately I never got it and the company who was selling these things never got back to me. Uh, so sadly, I only have this one version. And actually that's part of the reason why it took me so long to start making this video after Mega Man 11 came out. I was hopelessly waiting for this for the playstation 4 version to show up so it's not gonna show up um let's see what's inside here actually you can see that this is in french uh mega man in french wow um yeah let's open this up shall we let's see what we have in here so of course there's a seal of uh sealness no don't don't break the seal of sealness we, we, I just wanted to... There you go, that's what I wanted to do. I want to preserve the seal. So let's see what's inside here. We get... Oh, a thing. Yeah, that, lo that looks awesome. That thing looks awesome. We have another copy of the game. I really need that, don't I? Uh, yeah, so now I have two European copies of the game. By the way, it says 4K Ultra HD. That's a lie. The game renders in 1080p. Even if you play it in 4K, it's just upscaled from 1080p. But yeah, this is exactly the same thing. So, okay. Um, yeah, so you get the game, obviously. Is there anything else inside here? Nope. So you get the game and you get uh, a thing that says get your weapons ready and yeah you better um i'm guessing this is just there to fill up the space inside here because it comes like this uh, it comes like this with the 
with the game like this and then these things in here so this thing is probably yeah just filling up the space so it really doesn't do anything else uh so we got a nice awesome thing with um Bushman and thundra man and uh plug man no that's not plug man oh uh, gosh i already forgot the, their names um block man bounce man and the uh, impact man was this acid man please tell me this was acid man and of course uh this other person whose name i already forgot um was impact man and explosion man <laughs> and we also get this nice little book i love these colors by the way this is very nice um yeah, Mega Man 11 from uh, 1987 to 2000 is uh, Mega Man to Mega Man 11. I honestly don't know what this is. Oh, the history of Mega Man. I see. Yeah, I remember this from Mega Man Original Complete Works, by the way. Maybe one day I'll show that book. I have it somewhere in here. Mm, yeah, from paper to screen. Oh, th this is actually very interesting. I'm gonna spend some time reading it. Uh, of course, not during this, uh, not during this video. But yeah, I think I'm gonna spend some time. Maybe I'll learn something from here. I don't think there's gonna be anything that I've he haven't heard of. But you never know. Oh yeah, the European, <laughs> um, the cover for the European version of Mega Man 3. I love that one, by the way. Mega Man 3 is my favorite Mega Man game. Uh, it's the one I play the most. I know it's not Inafune-san's favorite. It's his least favorite. Uh, yeah, this is ah, this is very nice. I honestly wish I had also the PlayStation 4 version of this so that I didn't have to, you know, have the only copy that I have open. But yeah, this is very nice. 2018. Oh yeah, there's some information about the development of Mega Man 11. Um, so, okay, yeah, this is very nice. Um, don't go away, don't go away, because there's a lot more. Because, as you know, the game was also released on Switch, on Nintendo Switch, and I, here I have the, uh, Mega Man 11, uh, Amiibo thing, uh, if you scan it, you get a bonus in-game thing, I actually also have this thing, coming soon. Uh, do I want to open this? Of course I do. That's what we do in this show. We open things up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to unbox all of the Mega Mans. I've actually been waiting for a long time to be able to unbox this thing. <laughs> so, inside here you get... Let's see what we got behind door number one. Of course, a Mega Man. Ooh. Not just the game, but some decals and stuff um a dr wily patch if you ever need to patch your clothing here it is <laughs> uh mega man 11 d calls the game of course in a much much smaller format than uh other consoles and a nice little thing let's see Okay, yeah, I can... I'm not going to clean up my screen with this, because I'd rather keep this for myself. Oh, gosh, darn it. <laughs> I'd rather keep it for myself. Oh, is it even focusing? Well, it's kind... Kind of in focus, but yeah, this... Yeah, so this is uh, one of those straps that you use to clean your screen. Of course, I'm not going to be cleaning my screen with this, because this is very valuable. And... You also get Mega Man 11 Amiibo with no stuff around it. Well, that's kind of lame, <laughs> but that's no problem because I also have Rockman 11 Amiibo. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this looks a lot better. Uh, yeah, uh, this is... Why? Why not just add the... Oh, well, whatever. But wait, there is more. Because I also have the uh, collector's package for PlayStation 4. And, bloody hell, the collector's package for Nintendo Switch. Can you see? Yeah, collector's package right here for Nintendo Switch. These both boxes. Oh gosh, these boxes are so heavy, so big and so heavy. Actually, you can tell that. 
yeah, the, the Wii one is way <laughs> bigger. Uh, do I want to open this? Take a wild guess. Let's see what's inside door number one. Oh, gosh. What's behind door number one, not inside? Well, in this case, we want to see what's inside, not what's behind. All right, so in this box, you get... stuff. Let's see. Okay. So... You open it from here. Ooh. Now you get a much, much bigger cleaning thing. So it says... Uh, poster this does oh it's a fabric poster so this is a poster that you're supposed to hang on your wall oh gosh how can i open this without destroying the plastic there you go so you're supposed to hang this in your wall and it's gonna look really awesome because it's made of fabric rather than paper oh gosh this is not gonna fit on my camera <laughs> But yeah, it's basically, it's actually the art for Mega Man 11. Uh, it's the same thing as, uh, you know, this thing, this whole thing. Um, yeah, it's a fabric poster. Yeah, I like this. I approve. Uh, let's see what else we have inside here. Uh, there is a book. Interestingly, I don't see the game yet. Uh, so it says Rockman 11 something something. Oh, Unmei no Haguruma. Uh, uh, start, uh, uh, starter guide, um, starter guide book. Okay, good thing I can read uh, katakana because this is actually English. Uh, that's something that Japanese do a lot. They use English with Japanese characters. Uh, yeah, Mega Man 11. That looks nice. Oh man, this is really awesome. This is actually rather large. Um, sorry it doesn't fit in my camera and I'm not gonna move it because I have plenty of other things that I want to show up, so yeah. Okay, so this is a basic strategy guide, I'm assuming. It gives you the bare basics of how to play the game and I'm guessing what the each weapon does when you charge it. Ooh, explanations for all the enemies and their names. Um, yeah, all the bosses. Now, I need to know, what was your name? Blaster Man. Yes, Blaster Man. Burasto Man. Okay, Blast Man. And your name was... Uh, Fuse Man. <laughs> and you are... Torch Man? And you are Impact Man. And... Acid Man. Okay, I, was, I wasn't that far off. <laughs> I'm feeling better now. I haven't played Mega Man 11 that much. I should probably go back to it. Uh, yeah, explanations of... Oh, yeah, maps for all the stages. That's Yeah, that's super useful. Why don't they do this more often? I wish they did something like they did for Mega Man X8, the Chinese special edition of Mega Man X8, but hey, I'll, I'll stick with this. Oh, yes, this looks awesome. Awesome art. Yeah, awesome guide. And the print quality is really good, actually, so I approve of this. Uh, let's see, what else we have in here? Uh, we have... Yes... Awesome, we have a white sheet of paper. I always miss it when the... No, of course not. And of course we have the game, which is uh, really the only Japanese copy that I have now that I think about it. For PlayStation 4, yeah, that's my only Japanese copy. I have other copies, but none of them is Japanese. So yeah, that's all you get in this package. In fact, now, now that I think about it... Oh, shoot! Uh, I think the white sheet of paper is to prevent the ink from this thing from, uh, you know, smearing into the game. So that's why it comes like this. Now, I'll be back. Because we still have to unbox this special thingy. Uh, so let's... Alright, let's see what secrets this thing is holding. 
I hope the camera is focusing. I'm sorry if it's not. Okay, let's see. So we have, come on. Right, same poster. I'm not gonna open it again because this is exactly the same thing. Uh, same book, I'm assuming. Yep, same book. Why is the box much thicker then? The same white sheet of paper. Well, of course, we have the game. And we have another amiibo, which I already have. That's, that's gonna be a problem. Well, it's, it's never a problem to have more than to have less. And, uh... I think that's it. <laughs> it's only bigger. Yeah, there's nothing in here. You can see, yeah, you can see. It. Yeah, so it's only bigger so that it can ho house the amiibo. Uh, yeah, well, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. But don't go away because we'll still have more things to look at. Because the Japanese version of uh, Mega Man 11 for PlayStation 2 also comes with these Booster box. Uh, yeah, Rockman 11 Unmei no Haguruma. So let's find out what this booster box comes. I don't know why uh, Japan tends to do this thing where they send you special editions in multiple boxes rather than putting everything on a single box. So yeah, this is how you're supposed to be looking at this. And you are supposed to open it from here, I'm guessing. Yes. It opens up like this, and the first thing that you see is, oh, the light family. Oh, yes. Yeah, this looks very nice. I already like this. So, this is... Ooh, um... What is, what is this called? Uh, official art. The official art? Is it official art? Original art? Yeah, the art for this thing. Apparently, there are some interviews, and there is some fan art, and yeah. So the official art uh, from the behind the scenes uh, when making the game, I'm presuming. Uh, does it say here? Yeah, production notes. Yeah, this is... I approve. Absolutely love this kind of thing. I wish they released it in English, but they haven't, so that sucks. Let's see what else we have here. So I'm gonna pick this up. And apparently comes with a nice little... Oh! Oh, it comes with a nice little thing inside here. Oh, keychainer that looks like a CD thing. Um, yeah, I approve. Yeah, so far so good. Not disappointing. Uh, and this is the little thing. Uh, let's open it up. Oh, yes. Man, that looks... Actually, that looks very creepy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think this is an extra life and you can fill it with water. And I'm gonna guess it does a thing when you fill it up with water. What the hell are you supposed to do with this? <laughs> oh gosh, it's at times like this when I wish I actually knew some Japanese, but I don't and I'm not going to learn. So let's see what else we have in this fancy booster box. So behind this we have... Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so the booster box is just, well, I, I shouldn't say just, it's those three things. Uh, it has the keychainer, the scary face that you're supposed to fill with water, and I'm guessing looks awesome. Or maybe you're supposed to put like a, a light, a flashlight on it or something like that. I don't know. Uh, there's uh, one or two more things that I want to show up, so don't go anywhere. Because there is always uh, Mega Man Paraphernalia related to this. Uh, I think this also came as part of the special edition for PlayStation 4. Uh, this is uh, postcards. I'm not even gonna bother opening these ones. <laughs> but yeah, I, you can see if I move them around, they're like a little bit shiny. Uh, there is this stuff that was given away in the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, which was... oh goodness. <laughs> A nice drawing of Mega Man by I forgot his name. You know the producer. Uh, yeah, forgot his name. And then there is this little booklet that 
Yeah, talks about Mega Man, the history of Mega Man and all that good stuff. This Again, this, if I recall correctly, this was exclusive for the Tokyo Game Show in Japan 2009, 2018 or 19. I don't remember anymore. And there is also the official strategy guide for Mega Man 11. This is in English, as you can see here. Um, this is an A strategy guide and a story thingy about uh, Mega Man. Um, this is why by Prima Games. Uh, unfortunately, this company doesn't exist anymore. They went back bankrupt recently after uh, before the recording of this video. Um, so let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, right away, these things came off from the bottom. Uh, okay. Oh, this is the same thing as this thing, except that looks bigger. And of course, it's just one page. This is just like a little poster. Oh, in a poster, and it has like a number. So I got 4,491. Very close to 15, uh, 5032, which is my mighty number. And we are the strategy free guide. Okay, so this is actually just... Uh, promotions for Prima themselves and we have the strategy guide itself. Oh, this looks nice. Yeah, I like this. This little shiny thingy. Oh, yes. Um, let's see what's inside here. So there's uh, promotions for more of their stuff. So yeah, they are talking about Mega Man. Okay, I can get that from official complete works. Um, so yeah, here's the actual strategy guide. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. This is the print quality is really good and it feels really the paper itself feels really uh, high quality, very expensive paper, so I actually approve of this. Even though it's not I don't think it has anything that I don't know about. I don't see anything Yes, uh, yeah, they're talking about other Mega Man games, which again I already have this information in uh, um in the form of the Mega Man Official Complete Works. And last but not least, we have a Mega Man 11 controller for the Xbox One of all things. <laughs> I don't know if this was a Capcom thing or a, uh, or, or, a, or an Xbox thing, a Microsoft thing, but yeah, I'm not even gonna bother opening this. Uh, <laughs> it's just what you see here. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all of my Mega Man 11 stuff, if I recall correctly. I probably forgot a few little things here and there, like a pin or like a poster or things like that. But yeah, that's all the Mega Man stuff that I have. And uh, well, that's it for me for today. As always, if you appreciate me messing up my collection so that you can see it, please give me a like, share, subscribe, rate, tell your friends, go out and tell the whole world that this channel exists. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. And I'll see you around.